Welcome to Trucking Topics Today, where I supply information for your trucking journey. My name is Tony, and I am the host here on the channel. Hey, by the way, you guys, everything Trucking Topics can be found at truckingtopics.com. Today, we're going to go into a very neat tool that is quick and easy to use so that you can find the best loads possible and not get yourself in a jam. Let's do that right now. Let's go to the DAT board real quick. I want to make this quick and easy for you so that you can be on your way for the rest of your day and make that money, right? If you don't have the DAT board, go to trydat.net, T-R-Y-D-A-T dot net, and you can get free 30 days at that link. They'll give you 30 days to play with it, and uh, uh, I will give you tips. Just look at my other videos, more are coming up, and um, you will uh, learn very quickly how the DAT board can even replace, let's say, like Amazon, okay, Amazon Relay. Uh, by the way, if you need help with Amazon Relay, if you wanna get accepted, or if you have been rejected before, you can go to carriercheck.net, see if that's an option for you, okay? But here we are on the DAT board. And this is what you come to when you have your subscription. You come right to this page, and I'm not even gonna go much further than this page. Let's get right into it. Come over here to where uh, it, it has this V. Now, if you click this down arrow here, you're gonna see that you have your choice of what type of loads you wanna look for. So the V actually stands for vans. You could look for reefers. You can look for any of these loads that you want right here. So I'm just gonna keep it on vans. And then let me show you how to read this. All of the 50 states are listed here. On the end column, these are all of the loads that are going into these particular states. And on the out, these are all of the loads coming out of the states. So real quick, let's look at Arizona as an example. In Arizona, you have 267 loads going in. And by the way, if you wanna see what those loads are, click on the 267. It brings you to this page here, and these are all of the loads going into Arizona. Doesn't matter where, but they're going into Arizona. Now let's say that, <clears throat> excuse me, you live in Dallas, Texas. You can go up here to the out, go to the origin and say Dallas. Come over here, say search. And then you can see exactly what is coming out of Dallas and into Arizona. So there's one right here, Dallas, Texas, going into Casa Grande. Now, listen, we're not going to talk about rates on this particular video. I am just showing you what you can do to narrow your search down and how you can use this feature of ins and outs. <clears throat> now, it stands to reason that if you have 268 loads going into Arizona, and you have 129 coming out, there's gonna be several of these trucks that are not gonna have a load coming out of Arizona. So what this means is, is when you have a deficit on the out, brokers have an edge on you. They can request a, uh, a lower rate and almost all the time they'll get it. However, if you go to, let's look down a little bit and you go to, uh, let's go to Illinois. You have 355 loads going into Illinois, but you have 1,171 coming out. So what does that tell you? That means that there are, what, 800 or so brokers that are not gonna get their load covered that are gonna be searching for trucks because there's more out than in. Here, the brokers are gonna be offering you more money. Now, I'm not saying to always go to um, an area where your ratio here is higher on the outs. Let's say you live in Alabama and you wanna go home. So there's 
153 trucks going in, but only 56 coming out. But that's okay because you're going home and this number could change tomorrow. And you'll be looking ahead anyway, a day or two or three, uh, when you're ready to go back out for your load. So you'll be in a better position. So if you wanna go into Alabama today or tomorrow, with 153 trucks and you want to get out right away just know that there's only 56 loads and you're going to probably get a lower rate so does that make sense to you uh, ask me questions uh, in the comments down below so one more thing look at california here you've got 1253 loads going into california but only 796 coming out so this pretty much tells me you're going to get a decent rate to come in but you're not going to get a very good rate coming out uh, the same thing with Florida. Florida has always been known for this. 1124 going in, only 130 coming out. That's why you see buck a mile loads in Arizona, uh, in, in Florida, excuse me, is because the brokers are getting it because drivers are desperate to get out of Florida. So take a look at this. Remember, you can even go into like the Arizona loads here and say, okay, well, where are those out loads going? So you can see here, they're loading. A lot of them are in Phoenix. There's a Tolleson, uh, uh, Dateland, Mesa. And if you want to see, you know, your particular city, let's see if there's anything going to um, Los Angeles, for instance, you just put that in. You just put that into the destination and you come over here and you say search. And then here are all of the loads coming out of Arizona and coming into the Los Angeles area of California. So if you have any questions on this, please uh, put in the comments below. And as a secondary option, you can go ahead and email me at Tony at truckingtopicstoday.com. Thanks for listening and we'll catch you on the next video. Be safe.